Howdy, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that I have another Dollar Tree haul video for you guys today. But you know, I go there like every week, at least once a week, and so I find things quite often that I think are really neat and I like to share those with you guys. And apparently you really like that because you have really seemed to enjoy my most recent Dollar Tree hauls that I've done. And since I go there so often, I can very easily make a video like this, maybe at least a couple times a month. I don't know, but um, I thought I would share with you what I picked up from the Dollar Tree yesterday. So the first thing I found, and I have never seen these before there, I got this pink t-shirt for my youngest daughter. We are going to be doing a homeschool co-op this year and they wanted them to have, instead of like an apron, they want them to have like just an oversized shirt to wear over top of their clothes, kind of like a paint smock. And so I thought for a dollar, it's definitely cheaper than the ones at Hobby Lobby or any of the other craft stores. And it's pink and so it was perfect. So I found that for her and also for her art class they had requested that they have a sketch pad so I just picked up one of those. And then these are really neat. I got two of these um, craft and activity mats. They are 12 by 18 and they're really nice uh, like vinyl material so that you can the kids can do arts and crafts on top of them like painting and all those things and keep your table services clean and scratch free. So I even like things like this for when my girls are writing on the kitchen table, like if they're pressing on paper, sometimes that can come through and get on the table. So it's perfect for that also. We have the Oriental Trading Company like art trays, which we love, but they are, um, since they're tapered on the edges, sometimes a bigger sheet of paper won't fit in the middle. Um, so these are really nice because they are really large and um, they're smooth, so they're not gonna have like bumps on their paper from any kind of a texture of the board. I also got another, actually two more origami sets. You guys have probably seen these in videos in the past. There was some origami sets from the Dollar Tree and my oldest daughter's car pack for the way to Disney. So this time I picked up the pet shop one. And so the really neat thing about these, if you haven't seen them yet, is the paper is already printed with the design of whatever the animal or character is. So once they fold the paper together, it really looks like that animal or that thing. And then I also got the Origami Cootie Catcher set. I have never seen this one before. Cootie Catchers are those things like when you had in school and like you put them on your hand, uh, but it tells you how to fold them and so it makes, I don't know how many it makes. It makes 12 patterned uh, Cootie Catchers. So I thought that was really cute. And also, and I wish I would have had these for our trip to Disney. These were new in our store. They have these travel games. They have the license plate game. So it's just got a copy of the map of the United States and then as the kids see license plates from those different states, they color it in with the included markers. And it comes with, I think, three of the map, like game cards. So definitely could use this for more than one kid or if you really want, you could laminate this and use dry erase markers and that way you could use it over and over again every year. So I picked up one of those. And also Travel Bingo, which again, I believe comes with three of the game, the Travel Bingo game boards. Um, but basically, you know, travel bingo, so things that kids might see on a road trip, like a truck and a cow and a fire hydrant, a boat, a billboard. So all those different things. It's just a fun way to keep kids busy in the back seat. I also picked up these hefty gallon size zipper storage bags. I use these a lot for organizing. We used a bunch of them just recently in my oldest daughter's room. We're in the process of reorganizing her room and making it like her teen bedroom. Um, so I use them in there. I use them in my homeschool room. So I picked up some more of those. I don't like the um, the ones from the Dollar Tree that do not have the zipper. Um, you know what I mean? Like this thing that slides. The ones that I got before these that didn't have those, they would not stay closed. So I picked up the Hefty brand this time with the zipper and those have worked out really nicely. I also picked up the first grade money flashcards. And this is just a fun way for kids to practice um, math. And I'll go ahead and open it because I opened it in the store because I wanted to see if it was too similar to something else that we have, but it really wasn't, it was different. Um, it just shows you different coins and how much you have to say how much they're worth. And then towards the end of the stack, it's got a bunch more money and you're supposed to tell like five pennies equals one nickel. And so I just thought it'd be a good way for her to practice her money skills. And also, typically, I do not buy puzzles from the Dollar Tree because the puzzles we've always gotten from there in the past, the pieces were always warped on the ends and so they wouldn't stick together and so we ended up just throwing them away. So, I mean, for years I haven't bought puzzles from the Dollar Tree, but I saw some there that were really neat. They're going to work perfectly in our homeschool for our study next year of uh, world landmarks, natural wonders of the world, and just basic world geography. That's kind of what we're going to be doing next year together, one of our subjects. And so when I saw this uh, Wonders of the World puzzle, 
and it's got the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Taj Mahal, uh, what else? Stonehenge. So I took a chance on this one because it's actually made by Spin Master, which is a reputable like name brand kids toy maker. So I went ahead and got it and I opened it when I got home to make sure that the pieces were not warped and they are not. They are very tiny. Um, I was trying to see. They're probably about this big. So they're, that's definitely not for a very small child and it's a 500 piece puzzle. But between me and my 13 year old and my 7 year old, we should be able to work this puzzle and get a little bit of extra practice on recognizing those wonders of the world. So I picked that one up. And I also took another chance on some other puzzles they had, and they had more than this, but I just picked up three of this, this one. It's these, like, landmark, um, like, vertical puzzles. And so this one is obviously the Washington Monument. It is 100 pieces. Now, again, I haven't opened this one, so I can't guarantee that these, these are not warped. And it's not made by Spin Master. It just says Kappa. So I don't really know if they, the pieces in this are going to be okay or not, but I took a chance. So Washington Monument... Uh, Big Ben and the Empire State Building and they had quite a few more but I just got those. That is my Dollar Tree haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and let me know what your favorite thing is to get at the Dollar Tree. What do you like to get there the most or what do you get there the most often? I'm actually thinking about doing a Dollar Tree Favorites video, so if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you let me know that in the comments as well. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.